Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Ba-doom. So TNT has saw an article <laughs> that uh, in in Austin, actually. Oh, okay. I um, know that place. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. It's in America. Yeah. For, it's, uh, you know, we're broadcasting live from Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is actually a company okay. who is 3D printing houses. Oh, you know, I've actually heard about a lot of companies doing this. Actually, and, uh, this no, is not a new these thing. These are this is the, this is the difference. A lot of them, they three D print them and they bring them. Yes, the they're three D printing on site. Oh, okay. And what they're doing, they said, is it's a new it's a new technology. Obviously, right? Um, they are th- there's only three people. Mm-hmm. That have to be there to build these houses. That's one crazy. like monitors the laptop that has the program. Obviously. One, I don't. One does. I don't remember what. And the other person, they have to monitor the cement mix. To based on the weather, they have to either like I think based on the humidity or lack mm-hmm. of to make sure it's a certain consistency. And that's it. That goes for you people who thought they were taking like plastic and building plastic homes. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> or like fiberglass, right? Or like three D no. printing. Yes, most the home versions you use like little plastic, whatever. But like mm-hmm. they have three D printers that use like raw materials and yeah. put them together and make homes. And I stuff think. Too. Look, honestly, hold the whole idea of three D printing a home is so crazy to me that's that's amazing advancement in technology now i know you hate smart things you hate smartphones and smart microwaves and smart stoves and smart i hate everything smart smart cats i hate being a smart people but you have to admit that this is cool oh yeah no this is an amazing advance there's a difference i i don't hate smart things i hate having all my stuff connected to the internet I don't mind that you have a TV that does cool stuff. I don't like having everything just connected to the internet. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, the internet's the best part of technology. <laughs> like building building a home with a machine that uh, basically just like prints it from a program is is great and all. But uh, yeah, I have to say is that the internet is still better. I just don't like that. Like when you're connected to the internet, that everything about you is monitored. Like your like Ring, like yeah, you have your camera and whatever, but like they've even said that Ring is like selling people's, or giving their giving their video to the cops without their consent. Like it's it's like it's you're losing privacy. Like I, mean, I, I just value privacy, even uh, though I know that I carry around a cell phone. Yeah, and yeah, whatever. Definitely. Like I, the world is not private. And they know it, you were at the. Uh, they know where you were on January sixth. <laughs> I was in my room working. Yeah. It's not what your phone information says. <laughs> yeah, I know like all the people that were like, I don't wasn't there. And they were like, you posted on Facebook that you were there. <laughs> right. We can ping every single person's phone since the Patriot Act. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, but they, they're building a hundred three and four bedroom homes. This is the first major housing development to be 3D printed. I don't know where exactly in Austin A development? It is. It's, yeah, it's a hundred houses they're okay. building with this big ass 3D printing machine. Out in the out in the world, they're just like sliding yeah. it around on the grass, building up developments. Now, look, I don't want to I don't want to bring up any names or anything, but uh, you remember when we went to uh, a certain person's uh, party for like what was it? it? Wasn't a Super Bowl? It was like a fantasy football party. Oh yeah, okay. Do you remember how when we were looking at all the houses, we were like, oh, all of these houses look exactly the same. That's how allotments are, though. Every, it's like it's like it reminds me of a. Uh, uh oh god what's that movie uh p- no not pleasantville yeah pleasantville I've it's like it, I, it's an old it's a movie where it, i mean no maybe that isn't it stepford why i don't know whatever it's sure it's one of those things I where it's like it. every every house is the same every family's the same every what it, like it yeah but in every single one of those movies that model is used to like bring a f- across like this feeling of dystopia where it's like you're looking at that and you're like, oh, this place, it looks like suburbia, but really it looks like hell on earth. Well, right. It like, yeah, dude. I and would, that's what I picture from I, this, this housing development. Oh, and if they're three, 3D three printing print them, how many different floor plans do you think they got? Exactly. None. One. Yeah. They probably have like, oh, this model for a three-person family, this model for a two-person family. Yeah, well, three and four bedrooms. So that's ah, it. They, they got that was they, close. They got two. They got two models, three and four. And th- that yeah. four-bedroom house is the same four-bedroom house on every four-bedroom yeah. house, I bet. But, dude, and it's just it, – I every time I go into one of those allotments, I get uncomfortable. I, I know you should. You should. It's it's like they're stacked on top. There there's no room between the houses. You have no mm-hmm. yard. You can basically like look in your neighbor's window. Mm-hmm. Like it's just like there's that one 
I don't even know. If, like, it's like it's right up. If you go like to where CVS is on the corner, and you go down uh, that road, just a little, there's a they built a giant allotment like on that road that it looks like matchbox yeah. matchbox is all stood up to i was like yeah. how did they fit 40 houses in that small of a space they figured they figured a way somebody did the all, math like you could reach out your goddamn window and touch your neighbor's house i'm You're like right. who wants to buy no yard no parking no driveway i'm like cost effective man yeah, and they still probably cost two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah but you want to live in austin don't you oh boy do i <laughs> you want to yeah. live in austin bro like i I don't get it. I will never, ever buy a house in one of those allotments. No. I'm a big advocate for um, for apartment living. Me too. Um, I, I prefer it over, honestly, having like a house. Now, if you're like, hey, Dynamite, I'll give you a, a mansion. Yeah, sure. I'm going to take the mansion with like 1,600 square feet. I'm going to take that. Yeah. But when it comes to like suburban living, I prefer just an apartment. Honestly, I prefer a, uh, a condominium. Because then you have, like, kind of the best of both worlds there to a certain extent. Yeah, 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 exactly. Where I don't have to mow a lawn yet. Also, don't have to, like, go far to take my trash out. Right, dude. Well, and here, here's my thing. It's like, yes, okay, yeah, living in an apartment, I don't know. you gain no equity, right? But, mm -hmm. like, here where we stay, two badass pools, a gym, your fridge breaks, your stove breaks, your dishwasher. But you you call you call. They bring you a brand damn new one. Mm -hmm. Anything happens, someone else does it. Landscaping, someone else does mm -hmm. it. So, you know, it's gated. It's you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. there is lots of benefits because you know what I don't want to do? Mow the goddamn yard. Shovel. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't get snow here, but shovel the to, damn sidewalk. I don't want to have to empty gutters. I don't want to have to fix a roof. I don't want to have to fix a crack in the driveway. I don't want to have to get a new water heater. I don't want to have to do any of that. Me and those are, those are a lot of the things that comes when you own at home. You and, can do all of it, and it's expensive. Put a goddamn exactly. new roof on your house for $10,000. Like, no, bro. Just toss I don't that want, onto your mortgage. Right, dude. I don't want to. No. If, my, if, we, if a window breaks, they're coming to fix that. Even mm -hmm. if I broke it, they still come to fix it. The fridge breaks. They'll probably charge you. For I mean, they might if you if you broke like you, if like I if like we got in a domestic dispute over like <laughs> yeah. roommates fighting each other and you push me through the window. Whoa, they, whoa, what? I gotta be the aggressor because you're the aggressive one. In my scenario, you just Kool Aid man through the window, like <laughs> her, her, her. trying to be funny or yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I do. Um, yeah, they might make us pay, but they still would fix it. Yeah, they would and like, it. yeah, dude, anything breaks, like heat's not working, any of those costs that are ridiculous. But we're not gaining equity. But you know what I say? I don't really care. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, what is equity in the long run? Does that make me lazy? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe short-sighted, I guess. Because, I mean, honestly, what should we be doing, Jonas? The business we should be getting into? Uh, real estate. We should be going around, and me and you should be flipping houses. Because that's where the money is. Because, honestly, buying and reselling houses is... Not in this com commute environment. I would not say not right now. It isn't because it's a it's a buyer's market. Right well, now. the market's like the interest rates are so high that yeah. it's yeah it's. But it's, they've they've been higher. They've been higher. Not since like two thousand one. <laughs> they have. They're been the higher. highest they've been in two decades. They have been higher. And they said uh, I saw a thing online that's saying that the interest rates are so high that it was like six months ago. I think mm -hmm. you you could have got a six hundred thousand dollar house. For the same monthly payment as you now get for a three hundred thousand dollar house, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. is wild. It's Why would anyone want to buy a house right now? I mean, I don't suggest it, but you know, you do what you like out there. Yeah, I yeah, guess. You, you do you. Some people have like just like a, a dream of owning a home and having like the two point three kids and the dog. And I think that's where the difference lies. Neither of these, neither of us have children. Yeah. Neither of us are like, oh, I want to get married, have the white picket fence, all this stuff. Yeah. So for us, living in an apartment, great. Yeah. There's less responsibility. We can live our life. But I guess if you're already, like, if you're settled down, you, you have a kid, <laughs> or you have the dog, whatever, like, what are you really doing anyways? Yeah, what do you mean? What are you you're doing? You're just, you're just rearing your children. You're just working. I mean, what I mean is you're just working and taking care of your family. So if you can get a house which you are building equity, so in case something comes up, you can you can borrow money against your home. Oh, okay. yeah, you have a place for your children to take over later when you die. You, you, yeah. you can build a family there. You get community, neighborhood. We're just like two dudes. 
I mean, I guess no. I believe in America, but the American dream is a lie. Oh yeah, that's that's all I got. Well, about yeah, that. dude. Everybody, that's what everybody strives for, and then like you get there, and you're like, this isn't all that great. Yeah, well, you know, it's greatest country in the world, Jonas. <laughs> it is. I'm not. Great, I'm not going to say it's not greatest country in the world. Anyways, go to crazynow.com. That's all the time we got for today. Uh, for Jonas, TNT. Oh yeah.